All right, back at it again, trying to quiet down my extruder. Uh, I've taken all the covers off of this dwarf board here. Uh, as it turns out, the top cover sort of slides on and then this cover comes up from the bottom and then the two covers screw to each other through these holes here, but they don't actually like clamp the board directly uh, very, very strongly. And there's still some resonance from the board itself. And I think it's because to connect the board to the rest of the extruder, they've got these little tabs that they've sort of threaded through the board and then folded over. And it's fine, it's not going anywhere, except I think at this joint here, we're getting a little resonance. So if I kind of feel it buzzing up here, I'm thinking this is where the source of it is. So what I'm gonna do is pause this, put some E6000 in these joints, see if I can get that to take up some of the rattle, let that cure overnight, and then uh, try filming this cube again. Okay, so I got to playing around, and I thought it was the dwarf board, but I kept shoving things around the cracks of the dwarf board, and it didn't help. But I noticed that the cooling fan is held kind of on by... There we go. The... Uh, bottom, I don't know, a little draft diverter. This kind of helps hold it in place, but it doesn't directly bolt to the fan. It just sort of clips it in place, similar to how the shroud around this uh, doesn't directly bolt on. It just sort of slides in place and can rattle a little bit. Well, the fan is really only held on with one screw at the far corner. Uh, so this should go, uh, I'm going to get my fingers crushed, should go kind of like that. You got it held here with an earplug um, <clears throat> so that there's one screw up here and then it's captured at the bottom by that little fan diverter but it's allowed to rattle so I'm thinking if I put a little bit of glue or maybe double sticky tape kind of right here it'll keep it from flapping I think what's happening is it's flapping on this side and that that'll quiet it down um, how to put this stuff back together so that it doesn't flap and rattle so bad I'll, I'll have to figure that out um, but I think I'm really on the way to getting this thing quieted down yeah so I think I think that did it I got a uh, little piece of silicon earplug underneath this cooling fan kind of right behind there and I think it was flapping and it's got the two you know these two screws here at the bottom that the duct uh, uses to hold it in. The, the duct directs the air out over the part. Uh, that kind of captures it, and this screw positively holds it down, but there wasn't anything that was else that was directly holding the fan in place. So that, that kind of really seriously quieted that thing down. Now I'm starting to hear other little bits of the tool rattling, like I got a little little something going on over here but man this is so much quieter than when I started <laughs> um, I'm gonna work on getting the covers on and then maybe that'll be a tomorrow night thing get the covers on and then uh, we'll be ready to rock and roll quietly all right I'm back and I've done a bit of experimenting what I found is that these prongs on the back of the dwarf board rattled up against the back side of this pretty badly so it caused this plate to resonate. I took some of the uh, sound matting, which if you've seen my previous video, <clears throat> I'll link it. Uh, I've used sound matting like from um, car audio guys to keep trunks from rattling. Uh, I placed it on the inside here uh, to keep this from rattling so bad and to act as a little bit of a squishy spacer between here and there. Uh, if you don't have that, I've been doing some work with silicon earplugs. Uh, those work too. They're pretty cheap. They're dielectric. They won't conduct. I had this top piece rattling a little bit uh, over on the far end. <clears throat> Actually, this is the close end. So this goes here. So I put a little silicon earplug in there to help kind of dampen that out. Um, it's quieter even without, even with all these mods, it's quieter without it. But I kind of want something to strain relief uh, this connector here. You know, this has got this big boot on it to keep it strain relief. So... I'm going to install this stuff and uh, come back with uh, a high speed, uh, one of these test cubes. The infill here is pretty quick and it gives a good rattle. 
All right, so we're all done. We're all back together. Uh, I had the mat under here. Got some silicon earplug pieces under here to keep these wings from buzzing. Um, just the way these stepper motors drive things so hard. Uh, there's just a lot of vibrations involved. So the extruders calm down, but then you can start to hear other pieces of the system vibrating as it, you know, as this gets quieter, that sound, that piece sounds like it's getting louder kind of thing. At any rate, um, it's reasonable enough when you're in the room and definitely when I'm in the next room, it's not ear splitting. So not as quite as quiet as I wanted, but so much better than the original. Uh, so hopefully this series helped. Uh, check out the first video where I added all the sound matting in here and there's a pad underneath the base to help quiet it down. And then uh, see this video for the things that you can do to quiet the extruder and hopefully somebody else can carry on the, uh, the mission and get this thing even quieter still.